Welcome to the Cadia Rehabilitation Admissions Training video. Whether you are a new hire or a current employee just brushing up, this video is meant to serve as a guidance to Cadia Rehabilitation's multidisciplinary approach to the admissions process and the hospitality expected from you as a member of staff. Let's get started. After receiving notification of a new patient arrival from our admissions director, the staff nurse immediately will begin to prepare a report on the patient. The first thing the staff nurse must do is get on the phone and conduct a nurse-to-nurse -nurse verbal report with the patient's prior residing nurse at the hospital. This is done to anticipate any needs the patient has before he or she arrives, including but not limited to mobility needs and medications, as well as the patient's overall general medical condition. After collecting this information from the hospital, the staff nurse will continue and complete the necessary paperwork and preparations in anticipation of the patient's arrival. This also includes checking to see the patient's future room is in order and ready to be moved into, as well as verifying if there are any special equipment needs, such as an alarm or a wound vac. It is our responsibility to make the patient feel welcome and comfortable upon arrival. They can be very easily stressed by their current situation, so we want to make the transition as easy as possible. This means the greeting process must begin in the first five minutes of a patient's arrival. Remember, your first impression is a lasting impression. After greeting the patient and seeing them safely to their new living accommodations, the staff nurse addresses any immediate needs such as do they know why they're here or have they had anything to eat. The staff nurse will then make sure that the patient knows their attending physician's name as well as when they can expect to be seen. Next, pull the call bell within reach and explain how to use it. Make sure to have them demonstrate they know how to use it. After explaining the next steps to the patient, the staff nurse will perform a head-to-toe assessment and skin check for any wounds that they may have acquired previously at the hospital and indicate any wounds or marks found on the new wound alert paperwork. This step is very important because it eliminates cadia rehabilitation from any indication that the patient was injured while in our care. Then notify the CNA to visit the patient shortly after you leave to introduce themselves and fulfill their other responsibilities. Before you excuse yourself from the patient, make sure to always ask, is there anything else I can do for you? The CNA will be given the responsibility of taking the vital signs and weight of the patient and entering it into their chart for the attending physician. The CNI will also have the task of learning the personal habits and routines of the patient, their desires and preferences, such as what time of day they like to shower or what type of foods they like. They will also take an inventory of personal items and secure any valuables they may have. As the staff nurse fulfills their duties, our desk nurse will have the responsibility of dealing with filling out any other necessary paperwork, such as reconciling the patient's medication orders, faxing them to the nearby pharmacy, and putting them into the computer system. All orders are faxed to the pharmacy within 30 minutes of the patient's arrival. After both nurses have finished their respective duties, they will meet together to compare the staff nurse's physical findings with the desk nurse's paperwork and address any necessary support or changes needed. The desk nurse will then call the attending physician to report their assessment and receive any additional orders. After the patient is settled into their new living accommodations, depending on what time of day they arrived, they should expect to be visited by several members of social services either that day or the next. Make sure they know beforehand that they will meet with one of our social workers, a dietitian, a member of the activities department, and most importantly, a therapy rehab specialist. The social worker is to become familiar with various dynamics of the patient's life, including religious preferences, family dynamics, and anticipate any services or equipment needs upon the resident's discharge to home. The dietitian will go over food preferences, calculate dietary restrictions as well as fluid, protein, and caloric requirements for optimal recovery. Then, a member of the activities department will discuss the patient's hobbies and put together a daily schedule based on their likes and dislikes. Cadia Rehabilitation has a wider range of activities to offer and we take pride in providing our residents with entertainment during their time here, whether it's temporary or long term. Finally, depending on what time of day the patient is admitted, the therapy specialist will meet with the patient that day or the next to discuss their rehabilitation plans. They will assess what time of day they like to get up, how many people they need to help get the patient out of bed, and familiarize themselves with their movement regimens. And remember to always ask, is there anything else I can do for you? After the patient has adapted to their new environment and settled into a routine schedule, they or their family members will fill out an admission satisfaction survey, where they will rate their experience upon arriving at Cadia Rehabilitation 
and their opinions of the facility, ranging from the quality of care the nurses provide to the quality of meals and more. If something is unsatisfactory to the patient, it will be addressed immediately by the department head. To recap, our goals and aspirations with the admission process at Cadia Rehabilitation is to welcome the patient in a friendly and professional manner and to supply them with exceptional customer service in all areas of their stay. We hope you learned a lot from this informational training video and trust that if you have any further questions that this video did not address, that you will feel free to ask an appropriate supervisor.